table yoga for self-care. When we truly take care of ourselves, we can more fully take care of others. Time to replenish, restore, and recharge. Together, let's cultivate and practice loving kindness. Let's begin by placing your right foot on the table. Adjust your standing leg to find a comfortable distance from the table and to feel a gentle stretch in the hip flexors of the standing leg and a gentle opening in the adductors of the leg that's on the table. Begin to notice the circulation of your breath and the alignment in your spine. Now heel toe your foot on the table wide enough so your hands fit in between your legs. Lengthen your spine and begin to fold forward allowing your hands, form, or belly to rest on the table. Listen to your body to find the perfect stretch for you. Remember to practice loving kindness by finding your Goldilocks stretch. Be sure it's never too much or too little, but it's just right. Gently bring your hands onto the table and press yourself back to standing. Straighten your leg out in front of you. Square your hips to the front of the room and roll your shoulders down and back, opening your heart to the sky. Flex the foot and maintain a flexed foot as you hinge at the hips. Forward fold. Hold here and notice how maintaining a flexed foot isolates the sensation of the stretch in the hamstrings. Send your breath into your hamstrings. On your next exhale, try everting your foot by stretching your pinky toe up towards your ear. Feel how a small adjustment can create a big sensation. Send your breath to where you feel the most sensation, as if that part of your body had lungs. Breathe into where you feel it most. Maintain your forward fold, but this time relax your foot. Perhaps now you can take your stretch a little deeper by lengthening your spine on the inhales and softening your body on the exhales. On your next inhale, bring yourself back to standing. Let's move into hip stretch by resting a bent knee on the table. Bring the knee out to a 90 degree angle with the hip and foot. If you feel this is too big of a stretch, bring your foot closer to the groin. On the other hand, if you feel like it's not enough of a stretch, press the foot further away from you. Once you find the perfect placement of your foot for you, roll the shoulders down and back. Lengthen your spine and take a deep breath in. On your next exhale, reach into a forward fold. Hinge at the waist. Lead with the belly, then your chest, and then finally allow your head to reach into the perfect stretch for you today. If you're healing in the knees, flex your foot to protect your knee. There should be no pain in the knee whatsoever. Remember to practice loving kindness by never pushing or forcing your way into a stretch. Rather, meet yourself right where you are today. The tension and freedom you feel today may be different from yesterday and will certainly be different from tomorrow. Engage your belly as you press yourself back up into standing. Release your leg and straighten it out one more time. This time, turn the foot of your standing leg out to the side and rest a hand on your thigh. Hello, adductors. Stay here if this is enough of a stretch for you. To take it deeper, slide your hand along the top of your leg towards your foot. For more intensity, reach the opposite arm up and over your head for three breaths. Inhale and exhale for one. Inhale and exhale for two. Can you reach a little deeper? And inhale, exhale for three. Kindly release the stretch and release the leg from the table. Feel the difference from side to side. Bring your feet shoulder width apart or wider and your hands to your hips, hip circles. Press your hips out to the side, front, and back. Accentuate the range of motion by imagining yourself in the center of a peanut butter jar. Scrape the edges. Leave no peanut butter behind. Reverse. Notice how this feels in your low back, hips, and knees. 
Notice when you're breathing in and when you're breathing out. We have some unfinished business. One more leg to stretch. Bring the opposite foot onto the table. Adjust your standing leg and reconnect your breath. Heel toe your foot out to the side so you can fit both your hands in between your legs. Lengthen your spine. With a long spine, reach into the perfect stretch for you on this side of the body. You may notice you're more flexible or perhaps you feel more resistance. Whatever the case, practice loving kindness. Look as you look, feel as you feel. Practice accepting yourself as you are. Breathe into the sensation and allow yourself to soften around the tension. Walk yourself back up and straighten the leg. Square your hips, roll the shoulders down and back and flex the foot to isolate the hamstrings. Maintain strong quadriceps with a flexed foot as you forward fold. First, reach into the stretch with your belly, then your heart, and then finally your head. If you ever go too deep too fast, please remember to come out of the stretch and recommit to being kind to yourself. Listen to your body and give yourself exactly what you need without force. This practice is a practice about feeling good. Bring your pinky toe to touch your ear avert the foot, feeling how small adjustments can change the experience and the sensation. Breathe into the place you feel the stretch most. On your next exhale, maintain the forward fold but release and relax the foot. Perhaps you can feel yourself move deeper into the stretch as you let go of your flexed foot. It doesn't matter if your knee is bent or straight. Find what works for you and your body. Follow what feels good. Press yourself back up to standing. Bend your knee wide to rest on the table. To find the perfect hip stretch for you, keep the knee at a 90 degree angle. Bring the foot closer for less intensity or move the foot away for more intensity. Lengthen the spine by reaching the crown of your head to the sky. From a place of length and alignment, forward fold. Rest on your hands or forearms for the best hip opener for you. Lengthen as you inhale, and soften as you exhale. One of our teachers says that everyone and everything exists to be acknowledged. Acknowledge it and watch the change. See the tension and then notice how it can change into either more tension or notice how it begins to melt. You choose the feeling. Return to standing. Straighten your bent leg out in front of you and turn to the side for a side body and adductor stretch. Slide one hand along the top of your leg and reach for the ankle or toes. The opposite arm can float up and over your head reaching for the same ankle or toes. Hold here. Feel the intercostals and entire side body expand as you inhale. Feel yourself grow closer to your toes as you exhale. Feel your strength balance and flexibility in this stretch and then shake it out time to balance out the hips with small hip circles place your hands on your low back use your hands on the low back to help guide the hips through small hip circles circle as if you had a pencil reaching out from your tailbone and you were to draw circles on the floor between your legs Reverse the circles. This is so good for maintaining flexibility in the low back and the SI joint. Also aids in strengthening and activating the organs of reproduction, digestion, and elimination. Notice when you're breathing in and when you're breathing out. Shift the focus from the legs into the arms. Place open palms onto the table with the fingers turned to your body. 
to find the best stretch for you, you may need to lean forward or lean back. Be kind to your tools as you find what feels good for you. Now notice how your feet connect to the ground. Are the knees locked out? Allow for a micro bend in your knees. Can you release your shoulders away from your ears and create more space between your shoulders and ears? Finally, breathe into your forearms. Reverse forearm stretch. This time, place the back of your hands on the table. The fingers turn to your body. Lean forward, lean back to find that perfect forearm extensor stretch. Again, align the body from your feet to the crown of your head and into your forearms, feeling for maximum impact and minimal effort. Gently release. Reach both arms directly out in front of you, palms flat and facing the floor. Begin to create radial and ulna deviation, doing your best to allow all the movement to come from the wrists and not the elbows. Turn the palms up and bring your fingertips to touch the tops of your shoulders and release. Elbow flexion. Consciously moving through the joints helps maintain strength, flexibility, and stability. Pause with the fingers resting on top of the shoulders. Squeeze the elbows together in front of your chest and then squeeze the elbows together behind you. Start to feel the warmth in the shoulders. Try squeezing the elbows high in front of you and squeezing the superior angles of the scapula behind you. Now try a low elbow squeeze in front and a low squeeze behind, getting the inferior angles of the scapula to squeeze together. Put your hands up. Do your best to maintain a 90 degree angle in the shoulders as you press the elbows forward and the palms back. Now rotate the shoulders, still 90 degree angle in the shoulders and arms, and again press the elbows forward and the palms back. Feel deep inside your shoulders, into the glenohumeral joint. Notice where you feel the most freedom. Relax the arms and drop your chin to the chest. Exhale. Chin to the sky as you inhale. Feel the cervicals lift up and out as you arc the chin to the sky. Bring the head to center, inhale. Still lifting and lengthen the neck as you bring ear to shoulder. The safest way to move through the spine is first flexion, extension, then lateral flexion and extension, and then finally rotations. On the in-breath, return the head to center. On the out-breath, rotate chin to shoulder. When you're ready, gently bring chin to shoulder as you exhale for cervical rotations. Each time you bring your chin to shoulder, gently squeeze the rhomboids together and stretch the eyes behind you to help create greater range of motion in the neck. When that is complete, rest palm over palm on your belly. Breathe into your belly and feel the benefits of your effort circulating from head to toe. Notice how good it feels to be in your body now that you have treated yourself to a practice of loving kindness. <laughs>